Hey, no, I can't. It's it's too it's weird to introduce yourself. How'd they do these props all those times? Hi, this is Couch Time with Liam Zingbergs, and tonight we're talking about my Ender Ender. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought I could be an actor. I could never be an actor. <laughs> Holy fuck! All right, so March 2016, the squad decided Lisbon was a good spot for another trip to finish up on the. Uh, the final stages of the BSD transmission DVD. Um, the city is fucking crazy. There's so much stuff there to ride. Um, we come across so many good places. Lisbon being the, the the last, you know, trip that BSD was going on for this DVD, I really thought that I needed to drop something that was worth filming. So um, I'm a very slow filmer. Uh, <laughs> I don't stack like the rest of the boys do. So I mean, I get a few every now and then, but uh, just shit talk myself the whole fucking thing. <laughs> the worst rider ever, I can't ride anything, I'm done. It's gonna be a drunk from now on. Right? So yeah, a few days into the trip, we decided to head out to uh, just an area that was on the metro map. Ended up being full of rails. We ended up naming it Rail City, but uh, there was pretty much every variation of rail you could ever want in there. Lisbon was definitely producing the spots that I thought for myself were fun to ride and that I was getting clips that I was happy with. Just the architecture, like there was a, a big quarter pipe that I managed to get a clip on. Okay. <laughs> uh, I picked probably the biggest one, well definitely the biggest one I've ever done, which I was pretty happy with. There was just so much stuff. And uh, we ended up going back there a few more times on that trip. And I think it was on the second trip back that I ended up finding the big kinker. I thought it'd be a bit of a joke if I went up and had a go at it. It was a joke to start with. It was definitely a joke to start with. So I ended up going up, running up to the top and it, it was a pretty shit run up. It had the whole floor work was like cobblestones and there was a little bump jump to it, but I ended up you know, thinking that there was grass on one side, so it can't be too dangerous. Good? Yep. Yeah. Chuck the pegs on. I got maybe like a quarter of the way down the first time. Thought, fuck it, I'll give it a go. Getting on it was all right. Trying to stay upright on that thing was not very easy. The kinks were a little bit savage. Uh, after pretty much the second king, I felt like I had no control of what was going on. Like the first half was balanced, and then after that, I was just hope, holding on, hoping I wasn't dying. I mean, the thing was pretty fast. I was a bit sketchy on the double peg a few times there and ended up falling into the grass and I was feeling a bit sketched out about the grass because there could have been anything in that shit. It was so steep and so fast sliding down that. I was so worried there was going to be like glass or fucking like needles or something down there, but... Uh... At the start, when I started doing it, you, I thought, I would, I would get it, but I mean, walking up that stair set multiple times, like 30 times, was just wearing me out. So it was like a combination of thinking maybe I couldn't do it, and I was just completely body ruined from trying to hold myself up sliding down that hill and walking back up the set that I just decided to give up for that day. Well, I gave up at that point completely, but yeah. Oh, I got no other clips in between <laughs> trying that and coming back six days later. <laughs> anyway, that day finished. I went and drowned my sorrows in a few bottles of red. Woke up next day, I think. We went and uh, watched Sam Jones get some bangers. The whole crew was just producing pretty heavily on that trip.
don't run fast enough to Smith Harder. Um, we all ran and rode some stuff and the whole time we were doing that I was still just thinking about this rail. Just really wanting to get back and try it but not trying to waste everyone's time because I wasn't entirely sure I could get like down the whole thing but everyone ended up just being like go do it, you should go do it. You got close enough the other day, just try and do it. So I ended up going back, the whole squad was there and we put in another attempt. That I think we waxed the last down that day. But previous to that, we hadn't even waxed the rail because it was that fucking fast. So back up the stairs, I think it was probably 15 shots again. Same issues I was dealing with on the first day. People in the busy intersection. I always get put off when people are watching me trying to ride. So that, the intersection's buzzing. Everyone's watching. The run up sucks. Ended up sliding through the grass a few more times, going down the stairs a few more times. And at that stage, I was just hoping if, even if I got to double peg on the last stage, I was happy with that because I didn't want to crash into those bollards at the bottom and just eat shit. Oh. But I uh, ended up just persisting at it, getting close again, and then thinking I might have a chance to do it. Just got that one where I just happened to bloody stay on it. And uh, pulled up on the last the last flat, got the ice pick, missed the bollards, and uh, rode away happy, chucked the hands up. Give the boys that one, let them have it. Everyone was psyched and it's pretty much where it was. I pretty much hadn't done anything banger worthy previous to that, so yeah, that was definitely going to be the end of the whole time. I've never been in a DVD, like a production like that higher quality before. So when we had the premiere in Glasgow and BSD flew me out there. Thank you so much for coming tonight. This means a lot to all of us. The reaction I got for that, for that ender was fucking insane. I'll never ever forget the feeling of having that whole, there was probably 100 people, 200 people in there just screaming when that shit came on. So that's a feeling I'll never forget. And same as the rail, I'll never forget the feeling of going down that bad boy again. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty glad that was the last trip that we had uh, as a team for the DVD to go on. And especially just finding my banger there as well on the last trip is pretty insane. So it was definitely a, a worthwhile trip. Hey going, it's uh, John Hoopman. Just here to talk about my ender ender. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my shot now.